And we are... Whoop, of course. Of course. I always forget at least one thing. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get the camera on and calibrated and, uh, hide our tits. All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome on by, Miss No. Welcome on by, Doodle Connor. Yes, yes. The, the lesbians, the lesbian, beanians. <laughs> uh, ah, start, starting them, starting them off, uh, Starting off the gnomes early, I see. No. No, why didn't the head pat work? I literally fixed all of this. I fixed everything. What did you do? Hold on, what did I... Gods damn it. I literally went through and tested everything. But how? I understand. I feel like Streamerbot hates you specifically, Miss Hill. <laughs> it, it seems like every time you do you do a redeem, that one decides to break. I'm so sorry. That should just be it's not that it's just F seventeen. Um let me set my debug F seventeen. Yeah. That's so so baffling. I'm so sorry. If that happens again I don't well, let me know. Ah Alright, 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 that was pretty loud. <laughs> I gotta, yeah, turn that, turn that down a little bit. Uh, streamer bot. Did I have, I have a compressor, I do not have a limiter for you. So let me, I don't know if that was loud for y'all. If it was, I apologize. I'm gonna make sure, put a, put a, I might have just had my phones turned up pretty loud. Uh, you haven't seen my model look that far. Oh, just to the far right and to the far left. Oh, you did. You didn't hear anything. I did my. All right. Seems like I didn't do my ritual with the one redeem I did for a while. So let's let's go back to my pre-stream ritual because this one seems to test. Most everything. All right, all right. Let me get uh, let me get my audio mixer all up. Um, let me run the fix. All right, monitor off, monitor off, monitor and output, monitor and output, monitor and output. Not on monitor and output. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that that might do it. All right, we'll clear that out. We'll run a quick test uh, with this one. All right, so Streamerbot did not want to send stuff. Hey, Yiki, welcome on by. Version 119, all right, oh yes. Did you decide to... Did my sound sources decide they wanted to go AWOL? Audio sources. Streamer bots. Streamer bots. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's try it again. Now it's doubled up for me. All right, all right. All right. Now, one more test. All right. <laughs> All right. Now my frogs are truly well and gone. Uh, All right. 
I feel like I feel like I should have gotten all of my all of my scuffed streamer stuff out of the way now. So that's good. Um let's turn on this light. So my face can be seen by the camera more accurately. Oh wait, I looked in the wrong way. I gotta calibrate it. Hold on. Okay. Alright, things might be a little weird because I feel like standing up right now. Uh, I'll probably switch later, but uh, the microphone is in a little bit of a weirder spot. So let me know if there's any uh, audio weirdness. It's not as uh, loud as it usually is. Um, but yes, yes, yes. What else? What else? What else? Um, oh yeah, I have my little, I have my little plushie that Ryerson drew me. It is adorable. I want 50 of them. I want a giant pile to sleep in, but I can't. So I'll just have a little, little one right here. And let's get into SLARPG Act 2. And uh, how well I remember what voices I was pitching for them. <laughs> um, we've got 19 smooches so far. So I think, I think we're on good pace. Good pace for the uh, smooch percent speed run. <laughs> Um, I don't know what my current quest is. All right, the magic is now open. And he's All right. Ah, oh, fucking. I keep, like, the voice, I know the voice I want to put to Allison. I want to do the, uh, what is it? I think, I think the VA is Tara Strong. Like her, her kind of Rainbow Dash voice, sort of that tomboy kind of thing. Um, but I, I just cannot calibrate it right, so let's see. Also, I think I'm a little far over to the left. Slide myself over. We should talk to Claire at the library. Ashley Ball, right, right, right. Who am I thinking of Terra Strong then? Am I thinking Terra? Oh, I am so bad at connecting names and faces, and it's even worse when it's voice actors. I guess when Tara's done, I mean, she's done a lot of voice acting, so I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm just mixing her up with other people. Oh, wait, that's right, we have to talk to Claire first. Because that's not the library. Library's down here! Hey, welcome to the. Ah, oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? Unfortunately, yes. In spite of my efforts, Claire has been cooped up in meeting room B almost non-stop since last night. If she gets another coffee slain on the table in there, I swear to God. Okay, thank you, Mona. I did know that it used to be horse RPG. Um, I was made aware of that uh, uh, from from... From Dolly, Dolly is the one who sort of introduced, like, put this on my radar, and I kind of avoided spoiling it because I like going into things blind. Um, maybe I was around for more just season. I think up to season three. Definitely when um. Why am I blinking on her name? Uh, also did cats can't dance. And Foster's home. Um, ah, oh, slag me. I really like her work. Uh, Lauren Foss. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely when Lauren Foss left, I definitely didn't watch any more of it. But uh, she was the she. It was more. It was certainly one of the things where like I saw the name attached to it and like, oh, I'm gonna watch this. It, it didn't even matter that it was it was ponies or anything. It's like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give anything that she touches a gander because uh, I like the cut of her jib. She does good work. I actually should rewatch Cats Can't Dance. It's been a while, and I think that was a pretty good movie. What did you want to talk to us about, Claire? Did you not notice the whiteboard? Oh yeah, videotape guy. What about him? Oh come on. I know it's been on your minds too. I was kind of trying not to dwell on it actually. Well, it's kind of hard for me not to dwell on it. So I've been trying to do some research to figure out what exactly it was that we saw yesterday. 
the way reality got all twisted and warped down there. Never heard of anything like it. It shouldn't be possible with normal magic. Did you find anything? Admit it, my resources are limited to my own book collection and what I can find in the public library. What about the internet? I think the library Wi-Fi is down today or something. Or maybe Mona kicked me off the network. But anyway, I couldn't find a single lead. There's no evidence that the magic we saw yesterday is possible at that scale. And honestly, that concerns me. Spooky. This is a lot more than just spooky, Alice. Whoa, jeez. Are you okay, Claire? I'm fine. I mean, I'd say I'm holding up remarkably well for someone who hasn't slept in 27 hours. Claire, maybe you should get a little rest. Now is not the time for rest, Melody. What if Jarvis came back? What if the next time he has a reason to use that magic on Green Ridge? Claire, you were pretty hyped up about fighting that place yesterday. What's with the change of heart? Look, I love a good dungeon, and I thought I could turn it into a teachable moment. But I won't wait. But I don't want that magic anywhere near the actual town. Sorry to interrupt, but what if this Javis guy is still pissed about how we wrecked his labyrinth yesterday? Exactly. We have no idea where he is, what he wants, or what he's planning on doing next. But if there's one thing we know, it's that his magic could be used for some very, very bad things. So what are we going to do about this? Tell Faith? No, I propose we do a little reconnaissance work. We find Javis again and figure out what he's up to. If he seems harmless, we leave him alone. But if he's up to something, well, I guess we'll figure out a game plan when we have more intel. We could try putting him under citizen's arrest and hand him over to Faith for questioning, I guess. Is that an actual, actual thing we have the authority to do? Are you sure that isn't kidnapping? Uh, I don't know. Probably. Probably as in it's probably fine, or it's probably kidnapping. Uh, didn't you just say we have no idea where Javis is? How are we supposed to find him? We have some clues. Whatever he's doing, it seems like he wants to avoid being found. But he did specifically say he was interested in the Sapphire Islands. That he's still somewhere on the islands, and there are only so many places he could be hiding out. All of those places are out in the wilderness, and filled with monsters, I'm assuming. They might be. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this plan. You two already know about Jabbas and his monsters. You know what to expect if we run into another labyrinth. That'll make this much easier. And I mean, come on! I don't want to bother Faith just because we might have a vague hunch that a stranger may or may not be a threat to the town. Uh, this seems like exactly the type that warrants telling Faith, actually. Besides, I thought you loved adventures, Allison. Trust me, I do. But this is way more serious than regular treasure hunting and sightseeing. Plus, what about Mel? Mel, you're a great girl, but I don't think you signed up for this guild thinking the fate of Greenridge would be on your shoulders in a day or two. Uh... Uh... Yeah, it's a bit much. Yeah, this is a bit much. We just had our first real fight yesterday. It sounds like a job for someone with more experience, like the Paladin Brigade. I promise, it'll be fine, Melody. It's only a recon mission. You're not alone. You'd be going with friends. And Jody will be there this time, too. She's like an actual trained knight. There's no way she'd let anything bad happen to any of us. Besides, you did great yesterday. You've already made so much progress. You can totally handle something like this. You're gonna go look for Javis, even if we don't go with you, aren't we? I won't force you to endanger yourselves. But, I mean, yeah, this could be serious. I have to do this. I don't like the idea of you going out there without a healer, so... I guess I'll join you. 
Thank you, Melody. Mel, are you absolutely sure about this? Like, for real? It's not too late to say no. I don't think we really have a choice here. Well, if Mel's coming, then so am I. Alright, let's go get Jody. She wasn't at our place when I checked a little bit ago, which was weird, but she's probably just at the tower with Faith. Oh, and after that, we should probably stock up on adventuring gear before we head out. Sounds like a plan. Oh, this is so exciting. We're finally going on a real mission as a guild. Approved by Guardian for Hey Benson on April 2nd, 1013. Claire Higsby, Jody Caldwell, Miles and Loretta. Okay. Also, damn, that is a table piled with books. Can't read any of them. Wait, was that a bunch of copies? Damn, that's, a, that's like seven copies, five copies. Hi, welcome to you. Oh, uh Claire, can I have a word with you about the 57 books that have mysteriously vanished from the magic section? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'd love to chat, but the fate of the universe is at stake or something. Uh, you know how it is. Let's get out of here, guys. Hold it. I have something else to talk to you about as well. Oh, Claire, I've given some thought to your proposal. Wow, Claire proposed. I always thought the tension between you two was kinda... Allison, don't let me climb over this desk and strangle you. Look, Claire asked for my help with a research project. In exchange, she said to clear her crap out of the meeting room. Wow, are you actually agreeing to help, Mona? At this point, I'll do anything to get you out of my hair. So yes, Claire. What exactly is this project, Mona? Claire has been connecting data on the monsters you guys have been fighting, and she wants me to help her compile it into a bestiary. Admittedly, monsters are kind of a fascination of mine, so assembling a bestiary intrigues me. Anyway, I started putting that together based on the monsters you've faced so far. Here's your copy. Receive the bestiary! Alright, I'm making a bestiary and I need to monster I have my own copy of the book, but it's magically linked to your so I'll be writing monster descriptions as you add to them too. Also, I really like her her sweater, but also the little little like mechanical pencil that's like in the back of her hair. <laughs> Do you get anything for completing it? Some kind of reward? You get a complete beast theory. Wow, thank you, Mona. This will be really helpful. Please, for a good cause. Freeing the library from Car Claire's dark influence. Alright, we do have that. Uh, can I go in this room yet? Nope. Okay. Claire girl, decaf please. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like Claire uh, is just black coffee only. Um, let's check this quaint little place. <laughs> is this an otter? <laughs> is this Dolly? <laughs> <laughs> that face that face is like you better buy something or I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> Ferret, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it it could be ferret. Hi! Welcome to our shop! Uh kids, what are you doing in this house? Claire, you live right around the corner. Whose house is this? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever bothered to introduce, introduce myself to the neighbors in this three years I've lived here. That sounds about right. Allison, you live even closer. What's your point? This isn't any old house, not anymore! It's our shop! I'm a little worried about the legality of this. No, 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 it's fine, honest. It's like a lemonade stand, except we sell potions! We brewed them ourselves. Wow, that's, uh, very impressive. There aren't any good places to buy adventure stuff in the neighborhood, so we got some of that too. 
we're filling a void in the market. You kids know a lot about business. Thank you. I've been reading a lot of books about ergonomics lately. Why did you want to open up the shop anyway? We're saving up for college! Even in elementary school, we're already cogs in the capitalist machine. <laughs> Joy's just back. She wanted to spend the money on trading cards instead of saving it. You can't stop me. She's right about capitalism, though. Anyway, do you want to buy anything? We've got all sorts of useful adventure stuff. Oh, right. What are you selling? I've got the potions and stuff over here. And I've got a bunch of armor. And weapons! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Who lets you have weapons? You're like eight. Don't be a narc. You know what? These kids are all right. <laughs> Fucking Alice. <laughs> Just talk to us when you're ready to buy something, okay? What would you like? Um, always buy maps. And I should also buy. Um. Let's get a couple antidotes. And then... Let's check with... Ooh. Get all sorts of stuff. XP sponge. Uncle dotes. Sorry, only... Ontic dotes here. <laughs> Took me a second. Mm. Alright, so... Magic boost. It's only a plus three. Of course, I don't know how much these numbers matter. Oh, I need to look up. Hmm. I feel like a sledgehammer is an easy pick for uh, Allison. Wow, it's only one more damage than her current one, but I mean, it's a sledgehammer. Like, oh my god. Um, and then I guess a couple wands for our magic users. The fun part of RPGs, playing dress up with all your equipment. <laughs> Alright, so we have headband, sports helmet, or celestial circuit. Um we need two of these and I'm out of money. Alright, I didn't think about I didn't I didn't count good enough. Um what do you have? This shop is fascinating. This is what is considered cheap here in Green Range. Perhaps I should take notes. Oh and Here's a word of advice to keep in mind while shopping. Play it on us. While buying equipment, you'll see little numbers next to your name with a plus or minus, indicating how it compares to your current gear. For weapons, it will show how your attack is affected. For other gear, it shows defense. I just like to get stuff that makes the numbers bigger. A tried and true tactic, but some equipment may offer up additional bonuses that are more beneficial than the plus one defense shown in that little window. All right. Just a little quick auto equip, and then not what I meant to press. Oh no! Oh good, we have we have fast text. All right, all right, all right. Yep, 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 yep. You already called this. Okay. All right. Let's sell. Wait. Do I have two sledgehammers now? Why is it saying I can sell it? Huh. Ah! Hey, Iris! Thank you for resubscribing. Re I hope you're having a great day. What? Does it not take out what I've equipped? The sledgehammer seems better than the Zircon Saber. Huh. Yes, little squish. Little squish. I'm so happy I was able to get that emote. Um, hmm. 
I am doing pretty darn good. Just playing, just getting started on Act 2 of Slarpg today. It is a beautiful, quite humorous, very sapphic uh, little RPG here. Oh, that's right, I gotta, gotta talk to her from the front. Good morning. Head out on another adventure, huh? Yep. We just off stopping by Faith's office first to see if Jody's with her. Oh, uh, yeah, just a heads up, Faith's got a lot on her plate today. Isn't that true every day? You'll see what I mean. Just try not to bug her too much. She doesn't need any more stress right now. Hell yeah. Always nice when work is over. You getting magic from in here? What can I do for you? Inner beast? Ooh, magical girl? Hell yeah. Shit, I shouldn't have spent all my money on equipment. No! It is a fantastic Monday game. It's cute. It's happy. It's got a good bit of humor. Um, it's an RPG. I'm really, I'm, I'm digging it. Um, so let's see, we need to get to Faith. We don't have an appointment. Miss Vincent is a little tied up right now. And by a little, I mean extremely. we just got a personal matter to discuss. It'll only take a second. Is Jody upstairs with her? Not to my knowledge. But if she's popped up into Faith's office unannounced without checking in at the front desk, it wouldn't be the first time. I'd like to schedule a meeting, though. Faith has a few openings next week. Come on, dude. Do we have to go through this every time we come here? We're Faith's closest friends. Just let us talk to her for two seconds. Fine. Give me a second. I don't think I'll ever be used to this guardian thing. I miss being able to see Faith more often. I'm amazed she ever gets to leave her office, honestly. You guys just don't understand. This is what it's like to be a highly skilled witch like me or Faith. Your arcane talents are always in high demand. Careful with the adjectives there, Claire. Still, it's a lot of responsibility for a 24-year-old. She must be the youngest guardian in Green Ridge history. Second youngest, right? I've heard stories about a time when everyone thought it would be hilarious to write in a baby's name on the ballot, and the baby won. That wasn't that long ago, actually. Wasn't the baby Pepper Leo? Yeah, it turned out there was no age requirement for write-ins. Pepper was technically guardian for like a day before they called for a do-over. See, you guys always blame me for everything. This town is always was always bonkers long before I moved here. Anyway, Faith's a great guardian. I'm still convinced she won partially because everyone thought it'd be fitting for the boss of the Paladins to be named Faith. Ah! 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 Streamer abuse. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll hydrate. Oh, thank you for the man iris. I don't know why it's playing double double hit sound effects. There's only one, like, on the item itself. Very strange. Okay, Miss Vincent. I'll see you now, but she says to make it quick. Just head on up the elevator. Also, such a lovely vibe from the scene so far, very cousin. Yes, yes. It is beautiful. And the color palette is just so soft. Oh, it's just it's just a snap. The whole game is a bloody snap. <laughs> Joe, thank goodness you're Oh, she's not with you. Have you not seen her either, Faith? No, don't worry. I'm certain she'll turn up, right? It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, something is definitely up. Stretch? Alright, I'll do a stretch. <sighs> no, the hit effect is just in tits itself, so... You can have a sound effect tied to the item specifically, 
And then on the throw effect itself, you can overwrite settings. And I have them overwritten to do the kind of like squeezy toy sound effect, just because I, I like that one more than a hard smack. <laughs> And for some reason, it's it's playing the squeezy, but also like the default hard smack noise. Yeah, yeah. It's not that it's like actually doubling the audio. It's like playing two sound effects when it shouldn't. Hey, your girlfriend is a founding member of my guild, and we need her help right now. If something's up with her, then you've got to tell me. I'm sorry, but I have more important things to worry about today than your magical hijinks, Claire. Not this time, you don't. Faith, come on, we're your friends. Be honest with us. What's going on? Look, I don't know where Jody is, okay? I have no idea where she is, and no way of contacting her. Oh dear. So unless you've got some important news for me, I'm a bit preoccupied. Other than dude with a VHS tape for a head who we saw building a dungeon or something and summoning monsters beneath Green Ridge, we've got nothing. Allison, not now. Allison, I appreciate the attempt to lighten the mood, but again, now really isn't the time for jokes. Wait, she, she is joking, right? I really wish she was, but... That did actually happen. Okay. Let's start over. You met a videotape that was summoning monsters. He told us his name was Javis? He has some sort of weird space distorting magic? That seems like bad news. He also said something about having to prepare the Sapphire Islands for his superior arrives. But we're not sure what he meant by that. Why didn't you tell me this immediately? As Guardian, it's absolutely vital that I'm aware of all potential threats to the town. We didn't want to dump responsibility for all this on you. This is our problem and we're taking care of it. Claire, this is exactly the type of thing you should come to me for. I know that poking various hornets' nests is kind of an adventurous job, but if you've bitten off more than you can chew, you need to be honest with me about it. Okay, okay, I get it. So what do you propose we do here? Might of what you just told me, I'm willing to let you three in on some classified information. Excuse me. Provided you keep this between us, of course. Sure, Faith, you can trust us. <sighs> okay. While on a patrol yesterday, the paladins noticed some strange creatures around the outskirts of town hiding in the shadows. Brett said she had never seen anything like it. They weren't behaving like normal wild monsters. Oh, they seemed to be... watching us. Do you think that might be related to what we found? Maybe. We don't have much to go on, but it hardly seems like a coincidence. I was hoping that Jody and I could take care of the monsters before anything happened, but when we looked, we found no trace of them. I told Jody to keep looking nearby for any signs of monster activity while the paladins and I stayed in town in case they returned. That was about 1500 yesterday. I haven't heard from her since. Have you tried calling her? Have you actually checked your phone today? Something's interfering with our reception, which itself is just another reason to be paranoid about all these strange happenings. Okay, yeah. We were already heading out to Monster Territory to investigate Javis anyway. We'll just look for Jody out there. Well, if you three feel up to the challenge, I suppose we have a plan. Not much of one, but it's better than nothing, right? I'd help look for Jody with you, but I'm afraid the Paladins and I can't abandon our posts right now. Just promise me you'll be careful and report back to me as soon as you're able, okay? I have a very bad feeling about this. I don't know what I'd do if something bad happened to Jody, let alone to all four of you. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We've just got to head north, grab Jody, figure out what job this is up to, and come right back to review. Easy peasy. I started looking in the amber woods if I were you. 
you know how to get there, right? Just head east from the Guardian's Tower past the shops. Alright, come on, gang. We've got work to do. Alright! Eventually we will get our fourth party member. So I know in the, um... Oh, more dialogue. Okay, let's get this. Hold on. Before we leave town, can we stop by Piglity's real quick? I need to tell Beaverly I can't make it to work today. No problem. Maybe we should grab some food while we're there. Off to Higgity. Hig. Off. Oh, slag me. I'm always going to trip up over this. Higgity Piglity's it is then. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a that's a that's a shock name. Hi, girls. Oh, and Claire's with you this time. Hi, Claire. Hey, Beaverly. I just want to stop by and tell you I won't make it into work today. Oh, is everything okay? Everything's fine. We've just got some urgent adventure business to take care of today. Yeah, we're just off to save Green Ridge and possibly auto also Jody's life. You know how it is. I don't know how that is, actually. But yeah, that's fine, Claire. It's pretty dead here today. Anyway, Sean and I can handle it. I'll definitely miss having you around, though. Huh? Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, I hold that dot. Got to get out, get that out of the oven. So when are you gonna cut the crap and ask Beaverly out, Claire? What? Oh, come on. The little hearts in her dialogue are dead giveaways. And I mean, you obviously like her, right? You always get so much more chipper around her. She's just very sweet. It's infectious. See? Dot. 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 Look, it's complicated, okay? Yeah, I like Beaverly, but it'd be weird. She's my co-worker. I don't want to make it weird. So dating a co-worker would make it weird, but wearing your wearing your witch gear while waiting on customers and skipping shifts to go fight monsters isn't? Well, when you say it like that, you make it sound silly. Claire, do you remember what you told me a couple months back when I was crushing super hard on Allison? How you should just talk to her? Maybe you should follow your own advice here. You and I both know it's infinitely easier to give advice than it is to take it. Listen, I don't even know if Beaverly likes me. She's all sweet and bubbly around everyone. That's just how she is 24-7. Besides, what we have going on now is nice. We hang out a lot, and I don't have to experience the crushing pain of being rejected. Okay, but for real, Claire, you never know how she feels if you don't talk to Beaverly about it. Oh my god, fine. Okay, sorry about that. Now, what what were you saying? I, uh, hope you have a nice day, Beaverly. Boy, that sure was a lot of build-up for a perfectly normal statement. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Food, a nap in one of the guest rooms, you name it. Skip them work again, huh, Claire? Hey, come on. You won't make up these shifts later. Yeah, Beaverly thinks you got things under control, then it's fine. And if the adventuring stuff's going well enough you don't need the paycheck, then hey, good for you. Just don't think you can bail on us when the next holiday rush rolls around. Those summer solstice crowds ain't are gonna be ravenous. Um, I thought I could also get food. Isn't that stuff super poisonous to canids? Oh no, it's fine. That's only true for regular canids, not these folk. Eh. Alright, I have to talk to Orc Lady over here. Hey, heard y'all are in a guild now? How come you aren't wearing magic tabbers or anything like that? We have our own styles. I tried to get them to do it, but they're stubborn. Ah, I get you. Style's important as an adventure. It's half the job, honestly. Dress for the adventure you want, not the adventure you're on and all that. You know, you remind me of me. You remind me of my friend. Of you were my me 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 me. <laughs> me of me and my friends when I was younger. We started guild together too. Oh yeah? How'd that go? Uh well, 
That's not good. Deciding to spend that much time together really put a strain on our relationships. I don't regret it, though. Your 20s are all about stupid mistakes out of the, getting your stupid mistakes out of the way, so you can make less stupid ones in your 30s. I feel really attacked right now. I don't appreciate this uh, lens, this microscope the game is putting me under. I still wear the tabard, though. I don't really see my old teammates that often, but I wonder if they still have theirs. Oh, uh, but don't worry. I'm sure y'all's thing will go way better than that. All right. Give me a save point. I'm gonna save after every little fucking thing. Uh, also, I just realized I might not stop screen. Um, that's not east. That is west. Oh, hey, get a little thing. Giggle or jiggle. It's based off the phrase "higgledy piggledy, higgledy piggledy, higgledy piggledy." Oh, and suddenly I'm thinking of the uh, the three three blind mice. Uh, rhyme. Piggledy pill piggledy dot. The mouse ran around the clock. The clock struck twelve. Something something something. Higgledy diggledy dot. Piggledy dot. Yeah. Oh, there's some odd jobs up on the notice board. Let's see. Need help hanging up notice boards around Amber Woods. Alright, I mean we're heading that way. Seems simple enough. Looking for help conquering the world immediately. I know it's supposed to be Hickory Dickory Doc, but like, you know, replace Hickory Dickory with, with Higgledy Pickledy. Hiddle, hiddle, fucking that tongue twister. Anyway, um, I feel like we are morally obligated to accept this quest. And, and as a matter of fact, this should be priority number one. We got, we got to help Pepper uh, conquer the world. <laughs> Hi, Pepper. We saw your request on the notice board. Ah, excellent. You will be perfect for the job. There's something I want in the Amber Woods. Getting into the first step on my path to total world domination. Uh huh. I did it myself, but I'm not allowed in the park after what happened last time. How do you know we can find this thing in the park? I have my sources. I can't tell you about what this thing is, but you'll know it when you see it. Oh, and it's instead of a walk chest. You'll need this key. Uh, well, okay, I guess. We'll keep an eye out for this item of ultimate power while we're in the Amber Woods. Thank you, you will be rewarded handsomely. And I'll also be sure to give you special privileges when I will the world. <laughs> pepper, pepper for uh, benevolent dictator. Yep. I forgot I can control the tongue manually. It's a little hard. I just kind of have to. Wait, it's a national park? Huh. Oh, the fur, the pixels are so pretty! Ah! This is a beautiful game. God, yeah, just the color choice. Oh! That's a big ice cube. Can we that's a static enemy. We have I think we we fight fight it once and then it goes away. Frog balls. Alright, you just just give them a punt. Easy. Alright, what if we freeze a frog? Alright. Alright. Oh. Okay, they're weak to frost. They also inflate. This is concerning. 
Um, hmm. What if I give it a right jab? And then let's try and burn the other frog ball. Okay. Fire doesn't do anything. Oh, it inflated. Let's just guard and attack. And we'll have Claire. Um, let's just attack. Let's just boost Allison. Oh no, it's inflating. Oh no, it inflated twice! Nope, not what I meant to do. I need to heal, and then we will left jab and finish it off. Oh, weakness. Noted. Bestiary. Frog ball. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll get a bunch of stuff and then I'm gonna check what to be scary. Cure Revival. Alright, always nice. Well, I have to check out that giant ice cube. A giant block of ice is in the way. Claire, do you think you can melt this with a scorch? We need a lot of fire to melt ice block. Melt a block this big. I'm not sure I want to try that on a wooden bridge. Fair enough. Maybe we'll find some other solution. Yeah, that's true. We will find just like a giant, uh, uh, not a leaf blower, but like something that just like shoves it off. Let's get Shaw in here. Shaw can handle this ice cube. Bloom Beast, Snowbat. All right, but Bloom Beast looks amazing. It, it's an alligator. It's a gator with flowers. It's a bush gator. <laughs> I love you. Alright, who's Allison? Um, let's hit the frog. I feel like Claire is going to be the easiest to hit the snow bats. And they're most likely weak to Scorch. So that's probably going to be an easy, easy kill. Ow. Mean. Damn. They're fucking up my party. Holy shit. Um. Let's just. Just use Gus. And then we will left jab the frog ball and we will burn the other snow bat. So I want to see how much damage Gus does. Ah, shit. We should have killed the frog. The frog's too big. No! Not the frogs! Ah, shit! Fuck! I can barely handle two! Well, there's like 20 or 30 of them! Oh, God! Dormu, how could you do this to me, you monster? We got that frog ball. We get that snow bat. Now for the bloom beast. Keeping me prepared. <laughs> frog balls can drop from anywhere. Let's give it a low kick. Skedaddle! Alright. Let's see if burning it does anything. Medicinal flowers. Oh, it can heal itself. Interesting. Alright, that's gonna be... Alright, party is leveling up. We're, uh, we're getting some pretty good levels. Why does this tree have a heart on it? Huh, that's strange. Wait, we have a quest to put up something in... Oh, we need to talk to Holly and Green Ridge. God 
damn it. Alright, let's backtrack real quick. Undo, 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 control Z, control Z. Far be it from me to just expect accepting the job quest to be enough. I have to actually go talk to them. Um, talk about a request. Hey, Holly, we saw that you wanted help posting some notices in the park. Yeah, what kind of notices are we talking here? Some one posters or something? No, it's more like more important than that. Check this out. Green Ridge Wrestling League. Are you bad enough for the Green Ridge Wrestling League? We'll sell you tickets for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> this is officially the sickest thing that's ever happened in this town. Hell yeah, it is. I'm a little surprised you have the energy to wrestle on your days off when you fight monsters for a living. That's the thing. We don't see as much action as you might think. Which, you know, is a good thing. But if I don't hit my recommended monthly quota for grappling, then my soul cries out for agony, Melody. Makes sense. Before we can have an indie wrestling league, though, we need more fighters than just me and Brent. I made these posters, but Province is already mad at me for using the office printer, so I can't get away with putting these up on the clock. That's where you come in. Why didn't you just cut out the middleman and put a poster on the notice board? Good to be honest, nobody else reads the notice board except y'all. Anywho, here's some posters. If you could put up three of these in key locations in Amber Woods, I think it'll get people's attention. Got some wrestling posters. No problem, Holly. We'll have that done in no time. All right. Okay. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Undo. Undo. Redo. Redo. We are back. Oh. Okay. Easy. We already slapped one down. How helpful that it actually gives us like a uh, little prompt because. I didn't want to have to, like, mash X on every single tree I see. <laughs> Be like, do I put a poster here? No. Put a poster here? No. I'm surprised this little heart tree does not get a poster, though. Damn, these must be some really tall little grasses if I can't walk through them. Okay. Okay, frog balls. I see how it is. Rolling on in my way. Look, we got a we got a boost, Allison first. The frog is scored in the ball. I'll hit that one. And do it again, and then we'll freeze that one. All right, got my math right. I wonder if it gets stronger as it gets bigger, or if it like is just purely cosmetic, or maybe if like I don't kill it when it's at max size, but like explodes like a uh, like a Voltorb or something. Let's top off our people first. And by top off, I mean we give a little bit of health to Claire. The Inner Beast Spellbook. Ooh. It's an armor? Teaches Sabertooth Chomp, Berserker Barrage, and Fire Breath. Hey. 
little, little bit of dragon's fire. Do I... Hmm. Can I... Ooh, okay. Hydrate? Alright, Miss Hill, alright. Aha, we slipped right past him. Bewitched bandage and a comet. Ooh, looter scooter! We found the slug! We must harvest the slug. Yes. Okay. Oh, this doesn't cost MP? Ooh. Scramble the slug. Yoink the slug. Freeze the slug. Hey, we got 100 gold from it. Ah, <laughs> uh, it doesn't deal any damage. It just burns them. Got it. We'll go for a low kick. Got here just in time. <laughs> hey, Oglottle. Welcome on by. All right, low kick, not so good. Find them. We just uh, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them with the normal stuff, and boost Allison because she's our she's our DPS. Learn skills. Theme song. Okay. Interesting. Skills. Theme song. Changes the battle music to Allison's theme. Also builds star power. Okay. Um, ads are going to be starting soon, by the way, in case you need to adjust volume. Uh, why can't I go across them still? Is that... That's going to be a Jody thing. I'm going to be miffed. Miffed, I tell you! Because that'll make, like, three things that we need Jody for. And she has abandoned us. Her friends, all alone in this wandering ice cube block. Yes, 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 we already got that. Seemed like a weird bush. Alright, I guess I'm wrong. I'd be nicer to Jody if she was in my dang party. Ah. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Do you know these two, Mel? Yeah, this is Beth the Beast and Mary Ana. I ran into them yesterday. Both of them are aspiring bards. I hope they're not hurt in there. Claire, do we have any way to get them out? I guess a scorch or something, but my fireballs are kind of explosive, so that might do more harm than good. We don't exactly have the time to try and carefully chisel them out with Allison's sword. Ooh, an idea. Somewhere around the park, there's an old shrine dedicated to Soleil. Soleil? The sun goddess? Yeah, maybe there'll be something that could help us at the shrine. What are we gonna do? Just go ask the sun goddess real nicely if she'll melt a block of ice for some randos who never pray to her? I mean, do you have any better suggestions? Okay, let's do some groveling at that sun shrine. Let me switch to sitting. I think I've had enough standing for the moment. Oh. Oh, recalibrate the camera. All right, microphone's not in a bad way. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> We continue. All right, so I guess uh, I was kind of already on the right path. I just must have missed a turn and also got stuck behind these bushes.
Did I? Yep, I already went north. It's not a hidden passage. We're over there. Hmm. What am I missing? Hmm. Oh, wrong button. That's not a passage. Ah, okay. So we can we can get around the ice view. I got it. Slap up another poster for Holly. <laughs> 